host Steph Desar and in today's episode we are talking 11-11 portal that's taking place on the 11th of November and a few days afterwards we've got the new moon in Scorpio on the 13th of November so before I get started and share energy updates and I'm taking a completely different vibe today I'm going to do a lot of channeling I'm going to do a lot more sort of focused on the tarot and oracle cards I've I've been in the vibe all day and I was giving messages to a very beautiful, lovely woman called Efita. So, hey Efita, um, beautiful, lovely Balinese lady, sending love from this beautiful place of Abud. You can see the rice fields behind me. So, um, yeah, it, I feel like I'm just in that zone. So I want to go into what my channel messages are for the Soul Tribe and focus more on that. But I will give you a bit of a glance around what this full moon, sorry, new moon is and the 11-11 portal and how you can work with the two and just some of the things to know about the astros at this time. So you can kind of like use it as your weather report. But before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We're Divine Feminines on YouTube and all major podcast platforms. That's Apple, Spotify, Google. And there's a whole load of other ones that I've been hearing about that I don't even know. But people are finding Divine Feminines on these other platforms. So if you find us, great. And um, also you can catch us on TikTok and Instagram. It's Divine Feminines with a Z at the end. Why like and subscribe to this channel? Well, we have everything for guys and girls and guy, men and women where however you want to associate yourself to really become your best self to become a master manifester use the moon cycles release purge evolve and also learn about how to balance your masculine and feminine energy because that is ultimately how you really become centered in yourself and then when you are manifesting and really creating the life that you want you are in a real alignment with your true north node right you're removing things that are, are not meant for you in your journey and you're open to that self-discovery that self-development so that's basically what i talk about and i basically share pretty much what i've been going through which i hope really helps and resonates for you guys so let's get started so new moon in scorpio and the 11 level portal let's go in order the 11 level portal guys it's my solar return on 12 11 so I just love this energy every like before I knew about what 1111 was because I didn't know what it was um, I have to admit when I worked out I was like whoa like I'm born the next day or you know I came to earth the next day and then when I looked at my date of birth I've got 1111 in my date of birth which um, I've got four ones in my date of birth so I feel like this is that's why I really want to channel and I feel like there's a lot here that I can share and it's a very magical angel number sequence and about six years ago I started seeing 1111 around sort of October to November 2017 didn't have a clue what was going on my life was totally different then but by, by the way guys I was married I had a whole load of different people in my life different lifestyle I used to drink alcohol still smoked a little bit of the you know the ganja and all of that and I was just more in a different vibration totally right and I was also kind of still entertaining you know groups and communities of people that I couldn't even imagine being around today because it just doesn't make sense but it was all part of my transformation and when I was seeing the number I didn't really get it at first but I've constantly seen that number and there's been like moments where I've seen it so much versus moments I'll see it um a bit less but everything that has happened since that moment to now has been magical because I focused on the self-awareness thus the self-development and the transformation which is Scorpio energy so 1111 and Scorpio sort of energy they go really really hand in hand and I think it's incredible that when I now I understand the makeup of the two and the portal it's incredible so the 1111 portal actually was, has been open for some time the 1st of November which was like 111 opened up on the 1st of November and so the 11-11 portal sort of like 11 days before the event and then it peaks on 11-11 but it continues for another 11 days but the 1-1-1 portal continues all the way 
until the 11th of January because the 11th of January is 111. So you may have been seeing 1111 loads or 111 loads. Um, I've got to admit, I think in the last few weeks, especially I was seeing it loads and I was seeing it in connection to myself, but to soul connection as well. And I was witnessing it as well with with others, which was beautiful, um, with a particularly special other person, a soul, and I knew that that was also resonating for us, but also I was seeing it when I was interacting with like work colleagues or business partners, or, you know, clients, whatever, and just at the moment when I was doing something, something quite powerful, I could feel the energy behind it was transformative, it was taking me to a higher timeline and timeline this is the moment where we are shifting to higher timelines so the 99 portal back in september closing of cycles 10 10 portal end of a cycle one one is new beginnings it's letting you've left behind all that doesn't serve you that's holding you back and all of that stuff and you're open to the new and so 11 11 is so auspicious and it's all it's the one set of like angel number sequences that they say is even more potent for manifestation. The veil is super thin. So at this time you might be getting very vivid dreams. You may be really tapped into your intuition. Scorpio energy is very, very tapped into sort of the water energy you can really channel and really connect to your spiritual antennas and really un, like, get these sort of downloads, these knowings, these kind of, this is what I want to channel today actually, so um, I won't go too much into all of the theories and stuff because I just want to channel. Um, but yeah, so 11.11 is like a wake up call. It's like the veil is thin and it's a really powerful time to manifest. So I always say that when you are trying to create, call in something new and manifest, you have to let go of something else that's holding you back. So this is a time to let go of things that are no longer like serving you. There might be, you know, ways of thinking. Maybe you're worrying. Worrying, and I can be a witness to it, can really distract you. You might start worrying about stuff that just doesn't make any sense you've kind of got this thought in your head and then you start getting into this downward spiral and you just go down this thought track and actually it don't make no sense but all of a sudden you've taken yourself out of your center you've taken yourself out of your present moment and that is then being out of your power your divine you know energy so what let go of the worry let go of limiting beliefs and actually scorpio energy is transformative and in order to transform we have to let go of what's no longer serving us that's ways of thinking limiting beliefs customs behaviors people we've been around but it's a lot to do with the self and it's really much to do with the internal world you know water energy is about that so the 11 11 portal is allowing us it's like a gateway to allow us to start a new beginning to create to manifest to call in new and to see that through even for another 11 months you know 11 days to 11 months and um 111 days as well so you know you might notice things around those times but um really is like allowing you to call in that as long as you are you know centering yourself finding that stillness in yourself and being content with what stillness is because stillness is not easy it's kind of going well you know i don't know what's going to happen next but i know i have this intention and i know i have this dream and i know that part of it requires work but it's not about forcing it's about the dance between the masculine and feminine some points i do need to take inspired action at some points i don't but this is a great time to sit down and write down what you're trying to let go of and you know, meditate and just really visualize. And even if you don't wanna, you don't actually always have to visualize. Sometimes I'm not visualizing. Like I know my intention is in my heart. So I'll meditate and I'll meditate with those intentions in my heart and I'll write down affirmations. I'll say things out loud. I might say more general things. You can get more specific. So if they're 
are specific things that you really like are keen on speak about the specifics but don't label them with people names or things like that keep it slightly high level but with some level of specificity <laughs> um and then just hold that feeling in your heart space and just connect to your heart massively and be open because if you're not open if you're guarded if you're holding on to the i don't have enough money or this is not going to happen because i haven't done this yet or i'm not good enough or the other person is doing better so you know like and i'm not doing as well as them then you're already creating this barrier that you're not deserving but it doesn't matter about where someone else is remember we're all on this unique journey and a lot of what manifests in our life for the better is because we're transforming one thing that we don't tend to see is when we see someone calling in a great life or that we witness them having some great manifestations come to fruition people are like oh that's amazing and then they start focusing on it oh, oh she's lucky it's because she does this or he does that no like I'm pretty sure people probably think that about me heck no you don't even know the work I've had to put in it's not easy when you have to face your shadow so it's about facing your shadow and if you are not afraid to face your shadow and to be real with yourself then you can be real outside I am noticing that a lot of people at this time that are not real with themselves um, they're not my close people by the way it's just people I come across through doing business or being in sort of you know I have to deal with a lot of people a, a lot of the time so um, I come across you know certain characters that I can tell they're just wearing a mask they're hiding and their truth is really burning to come out and what's happening is they're starting to behave really strange because the energies you know new earth is really calling us to go to higher frequencies but higher frequencies is asking us to be real with ourselves when we're real with ourselves we know that we need to heal we know that actually it's not about pointing to someone else it's about pointing inwards and then doing that work and then the outside changes so you know it's about coming out of victim mentality which you know i always talk about so 11 11 spend time writing your manifestations gratitude 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 make sure you're showing the appreciation for the great life you have because i'm pretty sure that there is something at least one thing but if not many things that you can be grateful for even the water in your shower even just the cup of tea you have in the morning to the job you go to to the transport you get to take to the umbrella you get to pull up when the rain is pouring in the uk for example so that is 11 11 and then the new moon in scorpio because i want to get channeling i'm just going to go real quick here it's on monday the 13th of november so it's a bit of a weekender yeah steph's saying because so saturday is 11 11 sunday is steph's solar return and monday is the new moon in scorpio i mean what a weekender and i'm out here in bali to celebrate that too like that's a triple that's a triple energy like because yeah like i'm grateful like i've not witnessed this sort of triple event in the years that i've been sort of attuned to all of this stuff it's not happened like this so it, it was the right time for it to be happening now, which is so cool. And we're gonna celebrate with a mangosteen, which I got earlier. Oh God, these are so juice. Oh my God, look at that juice coming out. I don't know if any of you have had a mangosteen before. Oh my days, the juice of them. And shout out to Dream Fruit, who you guys know, I absolutely, love support and I'm, I'm part of that team of bringing high vibrational fruit and goodness to the uk but check us out on tour doing some great stuff and uh we even did a, um, an episode with them look at me eating this magazine but i just had to bust the magazine it's just i just had to show you guys best mangosteen I've had in my life if you haven't had track mangosteen you've got to try it hit me up and let me know sorry guys me getting carried away but it had to be done 
that was my little treat for while I do the video. And um, yeah, mangosteen is great. It's great for your health, really good benefits. Um, good with antioxidants, helps with cholesterol, helps with blood pressure, helps to keep your blood sugar level intact. I actually get a lot of them for my dad. That's my little ad break. <laughs> it wasn't even intended, but shout out to Dream Fruit, as you can get them through Dream Fruit. Dream Fruit UK on Instagram. Um, you can get them delivered to your home. So anyway, um, back to the new moon in Scorpio. 13th of November, uh, 2023, on a Monday. And if you're in the UK, it's 9.27 a.m. And if you're in East Coast, like New York, US, it's 4.27 a.m. So you might be sleeping, but it's a great time to like spend a bit of time around it but the, the energy of the new moon will still be potent and it will be it will be combined with the 11 11 portal scorpio energy highly transformative death rebirth deep water energy intense it's also a fire like even though it's water it can be quite fiery because if you know of scorpios and the way that they are or you might see it embodied if anyone knows me like i'm scorpio sun but i'm a cancer rising i'm quite bold what I do so when we're in our truth we don't f about if we're not in our truth we can still not f about but it can be quite toxic <laughs> that, that goes for everything but it's a real like I'm making a stand I'm doing what I know is right for me I am transforming I am showing up you have to just accept me and if you don't boy I'm here and I'm not going nowhere type energy so um you know, also co-ruled by Mars and Pluto, Pluto being the planet of transformation and Mars being that real. So I had to go away because um, the, the phone was doing the maddest thing saying I didn't have any storage, but there's tons of storage. It was just doing like a Mer Mercury retrograde madness. But anyway, I'm back. And basically what I was saying before it cut was like, let's get into the channel messages. We've got Oracle cards. These are um, the Queen of the moon oracle sounds perfect and then we just got some tarot cards here but i really like this one it's a tarot deck modern witch tarot deck but everyone's kind of brown skin in this which uh well, mainly brown skin with it's a mixture right it's just basically all colors of the earth coming together which i quite like in the, in the um descriptions in, in the in the design um so uh, let's let's go into tarot first and let's ask spirit spirit guides ancestors archangels I've got beautiful selenite all the way uh, Indonesian selenite um, that I got today I've also got some aquamarine and some citrine so all good vibes here um, let's ask spirit guides ancestors what are the messages for my soul tribe the divine feminines that they need to know for the 11-11 portal and this new moon in Scorpio. What are the messages, highest and best messages? Oh, strength, I love this card. Beautiful woman with the, with the line there. So strength is coming out, that's major arcana energy. What else have we got? Highest and best messages, please spirit. I've got the Six of Swords, but in reverse. So, uh, a desire to, to travel somewhere, to revisit something. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe something being out of balance or not an equal give and take. Let's see what else we've got here. Or needing something to be revisited to then bring back the balance. We've got the world. Wow. So a real cycle ending, moving to the next stage. Major life lesson because before the fall, which is a new beginning like the number one, we have the world. And when the world when we go around the tarot and we reach to the world and then we go to the fall, it's like the when you're at the full energy again, you are much more wiser. You have learnt removing blocks and disp self-limiting thoughts. Or just things that are getting yourself in the way. Oh, strength with the Ace of Wands there. So that's paired up with the Ace of Wands. That's a new beginning, new start, passion, 
follow your passion, fiery energy can also be related to romance, um, excitement, um, yeah, so there's a lot of fire there with the strength and the ace of wands. The sun, it's more, <laughs> more fire energy, more Leo energy there, the sun. So if there's something where you couldn't travel or you weren't able to reach somewhere or go somewhere, there's major healing coming through with the sun and there's, there's things are going to be illuminated in a really powerful way. So it's almost about letting go of the past, but you'll be able to move to better, a better place. Um, wow, there is so much major arcana. <laughs> Guys, the sun, strength, the world, the chariot. So moving forward, and the chariot here is like, it's like, um, it's Egyptian. <laughs> it's Egyptian style cats, because you've got the, the black cat, the white cat, but Egyptian style, Egyptian inspired cats with this woman on a motorbike. I love that. <laughs> How raw is that? That's very Marsy Scorpio energy, hey? Um, and at the bottom of the deck just a minute ago, I saw the Eight of Swords, which can be feeling trapped in your head. So the chariot moving forward. And even if something wasn't equal, or you felt that maybe you weren't able to, to, to find that balance or that equal give and take, or you wanted that, you're able to move past that and be able to bring things into balance. Like you're able to move to the next level. You're following your intuition, you're following your inner compass, you're letting go of maybe things that might have not, not gone right for you, whether that's work, personal, aspirations, love, whatever that might be. Final one, because I'm pulling eight. There's a lot of, there's a lot of big energy here, so, oh gosh, I can't. Oh wow, okay, three cards fell down, four fell down, and I'm just gonna, Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just going to pull all these. This is a lot, but I'm going to say it. We have the Three of Cups. We have the High Priestess. We have the Star, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. This is big energy here. So, I feel like the world is being paired with the Two of Cups. So, there might be a business partnership, a love partnership, that is really going to the next level. You are going to, a cycle has ended, um, a cycle's definitely ended, and you're moving to a new cycle, you're moving to a new beginning. Um, and the, the Two of Cups is not in reverse, so it's not like a partnership has gone wrong and a relationship's ending or a work partnership is ending. I don't feel that there's an ending here because we've got the Ace of Wands, it's like passionate new beginning and really, sort of strength is also connected to the ego so there's something to do with letting the like man managing the ego because the ego can get in our way but it's also very necessary to be part of our shadow and everything's getting really dark here <laughs> um sun's going down so two of cups with the world really yeah beautiful energy even if it's to do with business and um, whether that's a business partnership and business partnerships but a particular one could be a new client, could be a colleague, could be a new a new person that you're working with, hiring. It's it's definitely like reaching this pinnacle and then moving to the next level. But I do strongly feel that this is to do with love. So if anyone's going, oh, you know, I've really I really had like a tough eclipse season and it was really tough with my partner and but we've learnt so much and there's things that we're gonna put in the background now, we're gonna let go of you are really reaching a new timeline together and it's going to feel so good and um venus is in libra right now so that's also a very lovely energy where she's in libra um it's all about bringing love and balance and goodness and romance and all of that lovely feeling stuff so we've got we've got and i'm just going to do it like this we've got the page of pentacles with the star which i'm pairing the two so maybe something being offered and someone might offer something to you, um, and and to them, you know, it's um, it's 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 a really big deal, you know. So they might feel like a pe like a page, like a, a young energy, or could be a 
It could be one of your children. It could be um, a younger partner. It could be someone in the family. It could just be your partner for stuff, doesn't matter about age. But the reason why I'm saying Page of Pentacles, like they might feel like, oh, this isn't like, it could be a mix of, oh, this isn't a lot, but this is the most they can give you. And at the end of the day, it's not about how much it's the meaning, it's the gesture, it's the energy behind something. Um, I'm very much about, like I don't care what something is, it's the intention and the energy and the alignment of someone offering or aligning or helping. And that's paired with the star. So there's an energy of like really following your North Compass and something's coming in, being offered to you. Um, and it's a really big deal, whoever's offering this to you, they, they've really been working hard and it's whatever that looks like. It could just be like, hey, do you want to do this together? Um, but it's something that is outside of what they might have already been doing or do you want to do this in the business partnership? But they've been working towards it. They have been doing some work there to bring in this opportunity for business. And it's with the star and that's again a very healing energy. Um, so it's bringing in a lot of healing. There's a lot of healing coming through. Remember I saw the sun. And then the final two is like the high priestess with the three of cups. So there is celebration, celebration energy here and, uh, and an energy of like intuition. The high priestess, again, I really feel that that's like Scorpio energy, um, but it could be you if, you're, if you resonate with being this feminine energy, but you being really tapped into your intuition so it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, but being really tapped into your intuition at this time. And, and through that, it's bringing this reunion, this celebration, this greatness. So there's a really great, we're ending the spread in this direction. So starting with strength and having this passionate new beginning really bring, is bringing, you know, healing to maybe not being able to go somewhere, travel somewhere or be with that person there was a physical distance or there was an inability to go and do business in a place right so that healing's coming and greatness is coming from it because it was a redirection for better and then the chariot you're moving forward right you are actually moving forward and you're moving forward from the past of maybe where you couldn't travel where you couldn't be there or go and do what you wanted to do whether it was business or love and where you felt like I wasn't able to show up in that project or for my partner or for my family members, right? So you're moving on because you're following your North Star and through that, you are gonna have this beautiful partnership energy, whether love, business or whatever. And it's an ending of a cycle where you're moving to a higher timeline and a gift something quite tangible in the 3D is coming in and it means a lot, whether it's coming from that business direction or love or whatever, it means a lot to whoever's bringing it forward. They have really genuine, trustworthy, loyal and meaningful intentions, really good energy and, and it feels healing. And it just reminds you that you're following the right direction. You are following your North Node and it's bringing in more healing and through that, you keep trusting your intuition, keep sort of allowing things to flow. And this beautiful three of cups, this, 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 this nice reunion energy, celebration energy, there definitely could be a celebration where um, you're celebrating birthdays or, you know, you're coming up to Christmas time, but you're celebrating um, all kinds of things. It could be multiple celebrations because you are aligning now to this higher timeline. It's bringing you closer together to do this and this also could be a mixture of love and business coming together because you could be working with your partner so don't um don't sort of disregard that or you could be working with someone that ends up becoming a love um interest as well so um take whatever resonates i'm kind of trying to pull out what i can the most of here so the moon moon oracle the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Look how dark it's getting. Stephanie needs to go have a shower and go for dinner. I missed the sunset thing, but I, I missed it for good reasons. I'm with you guys. Um, let's see what messages. I like these cards. These are cool. I actually pulled some out for um, Efita. Efita earlier. A lovely lady that I felt I was called to give a message to. 
and um, bless her. I think I really feel like I, it was it was a magical moment. It's great, great, grateful. I know she's going to be watching this YouTube video. She'll be looking for it. Oh, okay, come on, spirit. Hi, some best messages. Is it is it because we just know what we need to know now? It's a really beautiful reading, guys. Really, really beautiful reading. I'm like, I knew I was meant to channel something, and you know, I'm just glad. So we've got surrender. We've got two here, and discernment. So really, that surrendering to what it is right now. That's a number twenty-six, which is an eight. Can be bringing in abundance. You probably can't see this card because it's so dark now. But surrendering. And discernment and you know this this card's interesting because we've got a half moon but there's a lot of clouds around her head so whenever i said to you like let go of the limiting beliefs you might be overthinking discern those thoughts you know not every thought that comes into your head is a legitimate fact truth it can be your ego it can be your shadow trying to just show its face in the pursuit of pushing fear and limiting thoughts your way so i think that is quite clear so just make sure you're discerning and make sure you're surrendering in the stillness surrender comes so find stillness in this time any more messages please spirit i miss doing readings like this you know videos like this even if i lost okay we've got we've got three more cards and then i think that is oh that is the final one actually we've got four more because one wanted to drop on the floor and i've got to take it so what we got here we've got the unexpected and i really feel so i did say uranus and chaos and things are happening but because of this reading and because of this energy it's an unexpected in a really good way so just be open surrender and you know it's really beautiful because you see these two people and one person's leaning their head on the other so there's something to do with partnerships and greatness coming in for whoever you're working with or you know um partnered with in a romantic way something unexpected and great is coming in for you guys and that's a number seven so spiritual spiritual energy there the next one is the path and the path is going to show itself so yeah like surrendering will help you see that path will help you understand remember the energy i was picking up on was following your north node your compass and moving with the chariot moving with your intuition because greatness is going to come through and you might not even expect half of this stuff which is really beautiful self-love so in this time make sure when you're surrendering you're, you're loving yourself you're really putting in that effort for yourself extremes is the next one so you could feel be facing some real polarizing experiences and maybe that's where you've come from you know one minute things were great next minute they weren't things were going well with the business and all of a sudden something happened and it was just up and down and you thought you had a good day and the next day it was a bad day but there is something culminating and going with that um again and i sort of see a full moon there in the background so Probably from the eclipse season, you might have felt a lot of extreme kind of energy and it's been intense for us all. And the final one is power. Oh, you've got to love this. There's a lot of sevens here. So there's a lot about your own spiritual journey and transformation. This year is a year seven. 2023 is a year seven. It's about transformation. It's about our spiritual journey. It's about our path, our destiny. And this is, you probably can't see it, but she's holding the full moon. So, you know, we've also got a full moon at the end of this month, full moon in Sagittarius. Earlier on when I saw Epiphita, there was a timing for her around the full moon. So there's, you know, there's a power coming in and you are leveling up. It's not that you don't have power already. Of course you do. But you're leveling up even further and higher to really assume an even larger accountability and uh, ownership of your power and um, sometimes actually the power is in the stillness the power is in the surrender so in surrendering it is translating to power to things manifesting so yeah oh man guys <laughs> it's it's an exciting time and i'm really glad to be able to give you these messages today you probably just can't see me now because i'm all blurry but um i didn't want to put on the um I really didn't want to put on the, the flash. I just wanted it to be night. Like it went from like day to night 
that's real Scorpio energy for me. But uh, yeah, we've got a bit of light there with the pool. <laughs> anyway, I'm sending you love, light, peace and abundance. And drop me a note in the comments if this video helped. I really would love to hear if it resonated for you and if there was anything that you just needed to hear. You don't have to go into detail. If you want to share, share. But I'd really love to know because I was really being called to channel. Um, and so, yeah, I would love to, to know that. But yeah, take care. And I'm sending peace, love, light and abundance. Enjoy this portal and new moon. Bye.